Alright, now let's start by Alayasa to warm up a little bit before we start the main challenge today. So I wanted to cross your leg and sit tall with your back in neutral or you can just open your legs, see feet apart here, bend your knees and find a position that comfortable for your lower back and for your hips. So I wanted to inhale, lengthen your spine, pull the belly button in, hands on your knees, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. You're going to try to do it a couple more times to get your own breath, so inhale. Exhale. I wanted to forget everything about the life outside. Just really focus on this moment with this workout today. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath. And exhale and slowly open your eyes. Now bring your head to one side. You can use your hand to pull your head a little bit further if you want to feel more stretch on the side of your neck. And slowly come back to the opposite side. And back to the central. Look down to the mat. And look all the way up or as far as you can. And slowly bring your head back. All right, now I wanted to allow yourself to Rotate the shoulders fully to four directions. And then reverse. Hands on your knees, articulate your spine and look towards the front and go in sitting position. And then round your spine, chin your chest, pull the belly button in. And one more deep breath, inhale. And exhale, round your spine slowly with your own breath and slowly bring your torso back to the center. Shake your hips a little bit. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I wanted to come to own four position and let's start the challenge today. So, four arms down to the mat if it's easier for your wrist. Otherwise, just lengthen your arms here. Put your shoulders far away from your ears and pull the belly button in. Hips on top of your knees and shoulders on top of your wrist or your elbows if you bend your forearms down now soften your elbows lift your knees up and down for 10 times so 10 keep breathing nine slowly eight seven six and five four belly button in three two very good and last one slowly bring your knees down shake your hips a little bit and let's go as quick as you can in 10 counts again feel free to put your whole forearms down if it's easier for your wrist all right let's do it as quick as you can and let's start 10 9 soften your elbows 8 look down to the mat 7 6 5 4 3 keep breathing 2 and last one slowly bring your knees down shake your hips and then deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right put your shoulders far away from your ears now bring your hips to one side and to the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center one more time and to the other side and slowly bring it back to the center all right now i wanted to allow yourself to engage your core and lie all the way down on your belly here so put your hands next to your chest close your elbow to the back now inhale put your torso up and exhale, bring it down, bring your legs up and down. So we're going to try to do it as quick as we can in 10 times here. Just make sure that you listen to your lower back. So you can always make it easier by just only lifting your legs up and down. And don't have to go so high. Now let's do it together. So inhale and exhale down, leg up. 10 times with your own breath or as much as you can in 10 counts. 9, keep breathing. 8, pull the belly button in. 7. Press your hands down, six. Close your elbows to the back. And four, three, two. Engage your core as much as possible. And last one, slowly bring your torso down, shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, bring your hands over your head here. Bring your arms and legs up at the same time and then down to the mat. 
as quick as you can in 10 curls here again so 10 9 belly button in 8 7 and only bring your legs up and down without your arms if it's easier for your lower back again listen to your body and 3 keep breathing 2 don't have to go so high listen to your lower back belly button in to support and slowly bring your torso down shake your hands and delete your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and when you're ready i want you to slowly open your knees wider come to try pose to take a little bit rest before we continue with the challenge today inhale delete your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth inhale and exhale and slowly allow yourself to lie all the way down on the mat okay and now from here i wanted to keep your arms along your body here and slowly pull the belly button in lift your legs up to 90 degrees now i wanted to inhale pull the belly button all the way towards the spine bring one leg down and up to the opposite side and then come back as quick as you can in 10 cars so let's start to do it together and speed it up keep breathing keep the same angle on your knees and nine eight seven stabilize your hips here six five shoulder blades down for more support three pull the belly button in two and last one slowly hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and for the next movement arms along your body lift your legs up to 90 degrees and dorsiflex flex with your feet now lengthen one leg to the front and then come back to the opposite side and again speed it up for as quick as you can in 10 cars so let's start 10 pull the belly button in press your hip bones down back in neutral position eight seven six and five four belly button in three lengthen your leg as wide as you can as far as you can and slowly hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now for the next movement just bring your arms all the way up to the sky press your feet down and now open your legs to the apart draw your hips all the way up engage your core now open your arm to the side make a little pulse here for 10 9 8 pull the belly button in squeeze your booty muscles and 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 and slowly bring your hips down shake your hips now interlace your finger here and i want you to engage your core hands over your head when you draw your hips up and down pull the belly button in so this one we're gonna do with your own speed you don't have to do it so quick just really listen to your body so pull the belly button in squeeze your booty muscles and make sure you keep your legs parallel to each other so your knees facing up to the sky for five engage your core four belly button in three and two now last one and slowly bring your hips down hands down shake your hips and you're deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and now i wanted to allow yourself to bring your arms to the side and then bring your legs 90 degrees again now inhale and slowly bring your hand over your opposite head and then switch to the opposite side so for this movement i really wanted to engage your core and press your hip bones down to the mat so we're going to try to stabilize your hips here activate your feet and if you feel like it's easier for you to keep balance here you can always press your feet down open your legs if it's apart and pull the belly button in you can even lift your chest off the mat if it's easier for you to engage your core and to feel more with your core here so five to the opposite side four belly button in and three keep breathing two pull the belly button all the way in press your lower back down to the mat or use your hand to support your head if you need to and last one is slowly bring your torso down shake your hips and head deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now i wanted to allow yourself to keep your arms along your body one knee to chest and lengthen one leg towards the front now inhale lift your leg up and down so you can always bring your hands on your hips and press it down to make it easier for balance here so 10 nice speed it up it if you want to make it easier just press your opposite foot down to the mat seven six engage your core five four belly button in three keep breathing two and last one slowly bend your knee to the opposite side so lift it up and down 
and as quick as you can in 10 counts again and again feel free to press your foot down if it's easier for you so stabilize your hips pull the belly button in for five four three two and last one slowly bring it back hug your knee to your chest and your deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth rotate your ankles and then reverse and when you're ready lengthen your legs all the way up activate your feet open your arm to the side open your leg to the side and then come back so don't have to open so wide again listen to your hips here and open and then come back for 10 squeeze your thighs nine keep breathing eight lengthen your leg as wide as you can and as far as you can but always feel free to soften your knees and use your whole legs to move here just make sure you keep the same angle on your knee if you do that so we're gonna try to do it for five four belly button in three two go a little bit quicker if you can and last one slowly hug your knees to your chest and your deeply to your nose rotate your ankles and then reverse and lift your head up press your feet down use your hand to support your head open your elbows wider put your shoulders further away from your ears now inhale and exhale reach and down press your lower back down to the mat here so I'm going to try to do it for as quick as you can in 10 counts and now let's start so 10 9 8 7 6 do it with your own speed but try your best 4 3 shoulders down and one slowly bring your torso down hands along your body again take a deep breath inhale and exhale and one more deep breath and exhale and slowly lift your legs up we're gonna do a little bit gentle movement now to prepare for the next challenge okay I want you to open your legs a bit apart so tuck the tailbone forward and do bridging here draw your hips all the way up and slowly bring it down each vertebra at a time at your back pull the belly button in and then press your lower back down each vertebra at a time bring your hips as high as you can again squeeze in the thighs squeeze your booty muscles we're gonna try to do it for 10 times with your own breath inhale and exhale articulate your spine slowly with your own speed eight engage your core seven go as high as you can shoulder blades down reach your hands towards the heels six keep breathing and five take a deep breath just do it slowly four belly button in and three more times there with your own breath two and last one inhale and exhale and slowly bring it back to the center shake your hips and then deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now if you're ready let's move to the challenge here so keep your feet to the center arms along your body and lift your hips as high as you can or you can always lower your hips a little bit if it's easier for you so arms along your body here try to lengthen one leg and keep it up just about the mat and start to make a little pulse here for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and lift your leg up and down engage your core for 10 9 do it with your own speed 8 but as quick as you can 7 stabilize your hips here 6 and 5 4 3 stabilize your hips 2 and last one slowly bring your knee down hips down I mean bring your foot down and hips down shake your hips and your deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready I wanted to allow yourself to lengthen your leg to the opposite side so keep breathing and slowly draw your hips all the way up as high as you can and make a little pulse again for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 lift it up and down for 10 keep breathing pressure whole shoulder blades down for more support 8 and 7 pull the belly button in 6 keep breathing 5 and 4 belly button all the way in 3 2 and last one slowly bring your hips down hug your knees to your chest strike your hips and then deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth 
All right, now for the next movement, just lift your head off the mat, pull the belly button in, and I'm going to inhale, hug one knee to the chest and lengthen your opposite leg towards the front. Inhale and exhale, switch. You're going to try to do it for 10 times with your own breath. So keep breathing, nine, as quick as you can. It chest a little bit high, go on fist distant from your chin to your chest. Use your hand to support your head anytime if it's easier for your neck. And four, belly button in, go a little bit further and quicker. And two, and last one slowly, hug your knees to your chest, now deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. One more deep breath. And exhale. Very good. And now allow yourself to press your feet down, press your, pull the belly button in, and lift your head off the mat. Use your hand to support your head again. Now this time, engage your core. Lift your chest up, your whole shoulders up. Open your elbows wider, pull the belly button in. And I want to inhale, start to go a little bit further and come back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Very good. 3. Keep breathing. 2. And last one, slowly bring your torso down again. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Inhale one more time. And exhale. All right, and when you're ready, I don't want you to just kick your arms along your body here and now start to bring both legs up to 90 degrees, dorsiflex flex with your feet, lengthen your legs and then come back 10 times here. Make sure when you do this, don't arch your back, only lift your legs a little bit higher and only bring it down lower when you feel like your back is comfortable and strong enough for you to not keep it arching. All right, so let's do it together for 10 times as quick as you can. And 10, pull the belly button in, nine, eight seven go back to each leg at a time if it's easier for you four belly button in listen to your lower back two and last one slowly come back hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i'm going to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees and this is going to be the last challenge for today so I wanted to try your best here. So arms along your body, shoulder blades down, engage your core. Now, if you're a beginner, you can just try to lift your hips up as high as you can. But if you already have a really strong core and work out with me for a while, I wanted to really lift your whole leg up and bring your legs over your head and then slowly bring it back. So we're gonna try to do it for 10 times here. You can do it with your own speed as slow as you can but i wanted to try to really focus on the form and engage your core here let's do it together so inhale and exhale press your whole shoulder blades down and nine keep breathing if you want to make it easier when you go up open your legs sit with the part and slowly dorsal flex bring each leg down at a time it pull the belly button in and seven keep breathing Press your shoulder blades down all the time. Six, almost done. I want you to try your best today. We almost complete. Very good. And four, belly button in. Use your core to roll down each vertebra at a time with your back. Three, our challenging version. Two, stabilize your hips. And last one, inhale and exhale. Slowly bring it down and hug your knees to your chest. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. That's amazing. I wanted to do a little bit cool down before we complete the workout. So lengthen your leg, your opposite leg up, hug your knee to your chest and rotate your ankle. And then reverse to the other side. and then reverse. Lengthen your leg up, activate your feet, try to lengthen as wide as you can, and then try to pull your leg towards the chest for three, two, and one, and to the opposite side. Press your opposite foot down, or you can bend your knee if it's easier for your hips. So listen to your body, find a good position that make you feel comfortable. And now keep your feet together, hug your ankle here, open your knees wider here, or just as far as you can really listen to your body and start to make a little pulse here with your feet. And now slowly open your hips wider 
and start to bring your whole torso from left to right just a little bit movement just kind of like finding a balance and then slowly bring it back to the center and then hug your knees to your chest rotate your ankles and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and slowly lean on one side to sit up I wanted to allow yourself to open your legs as wide as you can but you can always start with a narrow spot and now slowly bring your arm to the side and now rotate the torso to one side and come back to the opposite side feel free to bend your knees and bring your legs towards the center more if it's easier for your hips keep breathing one more time to the other side and back to the center hands down so lengthen your spine hands on your knees and rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse Articulate your spine, look towards the front and then round your spine, chin to chest and bring it back to the center two more times and exhale slowly come back to the center and the last one, hold it here for three, two and one round your spine, hold it here for three, two and one come back to the center now slowly bring your head to one side, hold it here for three, two and one to the opposite side and start to rotate your head around your neck inhale halfway exhale halfway and then reverse and one more round and reverse and slowly bring it back to the center inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth one more deep breath and exhale and that's the work of the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Now let me know how you feel after the cardio. Do you want to have a longer form of cardio? Or do you want other kind of workout? Just let me know by below. I'm going to try to make it. I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next workout. Bye bye.